Hello viewers, I am Darunal taking you through the story for A Level Pure Mathematics and this video I am going to go through the topic of permutations and combinations. So this video is suitable for students in both Senior 5 and Senior 6 offering principal mathematics as part of their combination. So suppose we have four objects which is A, B, C and D and we select groups of two. The possible selections would be A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D and C, D. Each selection is called a combination so this is where the head topic of combinations comes from. And it is possible to make six different combinations from four objects taken two at a time. So when I have four objects and I want to pick two at a time, I can make six selections. And that is what we call combinations. However, if we are concerned with the arrangements of the four objects taken two at a time, we can do this in 12 different ways. Now, in combinations, we don't mind of the arrangement but in 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 permutation we mind of the arrangement so if you mind about the arrangement it means that this a b is different from this b a and this a c is different from this c a and this a d is different from d a b c is different from c b b d is different from d b and CD is different from DC. So in that case it makes 12 because these are 6 and these are 6. That is when we mind of the arrangement. So each arrangement is called a permutation. So this is where the topic of permutations comes from. So in permutations we are concerned with the arrangement and in combinations we are not concerned. And it is possible to make 12 different permutations from 4 objects taken to at a time. Thus, in forming combinations, we are concerned only with the number of objects each selection contains. For example, here, as long as it contains A, B, A and B, that is a combination. But here, we mind of the order. This one will be different from this. Whereas in forming permutations, we are concerned with the order of the component objects as well. So that is a brief introduction on the difference between permutations and combinations. So both topics will be handled in this video. Now let's start with permutations of distinct objects. Distinct means different. This is the number of ways objects can be arranged in a row. Know this word row because there are two types of arrangement. It can be arrangement in a row or arrangement in a circle. But now you are going to first deal with row. So without restrictions, not this word without restrictions, because sometimes they give you conditions to follow, as we shall see when we are going through this video. So without restrictions, n distinct objects can be arranged in n factorial ways. Now this symbol is a factorial symbol. So when I want to expand n factorial, it means that I will come and say n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on until you reach 1. Therefore, if I have, for example, 5 factorial, it means it will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you keep on reducing by 1 until you reach 1. That is what this symbol of factorial means. So with that, info, with that introduction, let's go through some of the questions. So question one says, four people, A, B, C, and D, are to run a relay race. In how many ways can they be arranged? So there are four. Remember we said N distinct objects, the number of ways is N factorial. So if there are four, it implies that the number of ways will be four factorial. And we saw that 4 factorial, we keep on reducing until we reach 1, so it will be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 to give you 24 ways. Now the good thing is that this, you, with a good calculator, you can easily move from this to this. For example, if I have fx991, 
to get that four factorial you'll press your four here then you also i think realize that here there is a factorial here but this factorial is in yellow so to get what is in yellow you're going to first press shift after pressing shift you'll be able to press this button and you'll see four factorial on your calculator after that you'll press an equal sign so let's repeat the order the order if i want to get four factorial i'll come and press four on your calculator then to get this factorial i have to first press shift followed by this so when you do that you, the sim this symbol will appear on your screen when it appears it means you go, you'll go and press the equal sign when you press the equal sign you'll be able to get 24 so what does that mean it means that it is okay if you bypass this and you move from here up to here and that is what i recommend you to do so it is so you get a good calculator so that you can get just press four factorial and get the final answer without going through this step because for example if they give you for example a hundred factorial what will you more will you apply until you get one from a hundred to one it may be a bit longer so be better get a good calculator and we easily progress so now we shall go to question two question two says in how many different ways can the letters of the word house be arranged so we shall come here and first count the number of objects there is one two three four five so there are five distinct objects therefore the number of ways will be five factorial and five factorial will give you 120 ways like i said it is okay if you bypass this step and move from here up to here depending on the calculator you have now shall go to question three question three says how many ways can we arrange 10 books on a shelf so number of ways there are 10 different books therefore the number of ways will be 10 factorial and 10 factorial like i said it's okay to move from here up to the final answer therefore when you press the calculator 10 factorial will give you three six eight two eight zero zero ways so now shall go to question four question four says how many ways can we arrange 12 arthritis from the first to the last so there are 12 meaning the number of ways will be 12 factorial and 12 factorial gives you that so if you have a good calculator i think we can see that work can be simplified that was permutation of distinct objects now distinct means they are different objects but sometimes they can the objects may be identical so that takes us the next part which says permutations involving identical items here we shall come and say that the number of permutations of n items of which x is of one kind y is of another kind and z is of another kind etc is given by number of ways is equal to n factorial which is the total number of objects over x factorial which is here y factorial which is there and z factorial etc now the ones which are identical are put in the denominator as we have seen the questions to come so question one came from your name 1990 paper one question 15a and says find how many words can be formed using all the letters of the word minimum so minimum has seven letters with three m's and two i's if you look at this it is one two three four five six seven so there are seven letters but there are some identical objects for example m is identical one two three so m occurs three times and i occurs two times therefore we shall put seven in the numerator and the denominator we shall put this three m for m and this two for i and as a calculator the whole of this will give you 420 words and basically that's what they wanted so i think realize that with a calculator with a good calculator i can easily just move from here to the final answer and you get all the marks question two says in how many ways can the letters of the word parallel be arranged in a row without repetition 
So if you analyze the word parallel, it has eight letters. Let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight letters, but the ones which are identical, we have three L's, one, two, and three. Then we also have two A's, one, two. Therefore, the eight will be in the numerator and three will be in the denominator and two will also be in the denominator. So when I have the calculator, the whole of this will give me this, which is required. Then question three says, in how many ways can the letters of the word photograph be arranged in a row without letters repeating themselves? So still when you analyze the word photograph, it has 10 letters with two O's and two H's and two P's. For example, the O's there is one, two. Then when it comes to P, there is one, two. When you have two H, when you come to H, there is one, two. Therefore, the 10 will be in the numerator and the 2 will be in the denominator, this 2 denominator and this 2 denominator. So in the end, with the calculator, we'll come up with this as the required number of ways. So that is permutations of identical items. Now we shall go to permutations involving restrictions. Now the ones we have been doing, there has been no restrictions of the arrangement some but sometimes they can restrict you on a certain type of arrangement so now let's go to such questions so question one came from your neighbor 2020 paper one paper one question six and it says in how many ways can the letters of the word bundesliga be arranged if part a there is no restriction and part b the vowels must be together now, the, if there is no restriction, we do the we do it as we have done before. So you come and say that for part A, Bundesliga, there are no identical. If you look at it, there are no identical items. Therefore, we shall just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten objects. That's why we take ten factorial, and only use a calculator to give you this. And that's what they wanted in part A. What about part B? Part B, they said the vowels must be together. So we shall first make a certain sketch to help us is the calculations. So we shall pull out all the all the vowels. U is a vowel, E is a vowel, I is a vowel, and A is a vowel. When you pull them out, we shall remain with B, which is here, N, which is here, D, which is here, S, which is here and L which is there, then G which is there. So what are rearranging in that? We shall take this one. Now these vowels, they told us that they must be together, meaning that you first take them as one. When you take them as one, it means there will be now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is why you see a seven factorial. So when the when the when the vowels shift, the, all of them must shift. That's what they mean by taking them as one. But also among within these vowels, they can also be rearranged. So when you rearrange them, there will be four factorial. Why there is one, two, three, four. There are four objects. That is why there is four factorial. Now we have seven factorial and four factorial. Mean that the total number of words will be got by multiplying the two. So it will be seven factorial times four factorial. When you use a calculator, this seven factorial is that and this four factorial is that. Therefore, you, uh, you come up with this as a required number of ways. Question 2 came from your neb 2004, paper 1, question 9b and says, how many arrangements can be made from the letters of the name Mississippi? Roman 1, when all the letters are taken at a time and Roman 2 if the two letters P begin every word so Roman 1 there is no rest restriction therefore we are going to just analyze the word Mississippi and realize that Mississippi has 11 letters with 4 S 4 I's and 2 P's for example if you look at S there is 1 2 3 4 then when you look at I, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then when you look at P, there is 1, 2. 
Therefore, the 11 will be in the numerator, and 4 will be in the denominator, this 4 in the denominator, and this 2 in the denominator. So, in the end, we shall come up with this as a required number of ways. Now, that has been Roman 1. What about Roman 2? Roman 2, they said, the P's, the two P's begin every word. So, shall come and also make a sketch to ease the calculation. So I think we realize that the two P's has been grouped together and the number of ways they can be arranged is one because these are identical. You cannot distinguish them. Whether you begin with this P and followed by this P, it still remains the same arrangement. But if you want to know how this one comes about, you still use the rule of identical items and say it will be 2 factorial over 2 factorial, which is 1. But to simplify it, you just put 1 factorial because they are identical. So when you extract out these two P's, you remain with this M, which is here, then this I, which is here, the, A, the two S's, which is this and this, then followed by I, which is that, the two S, which is this and this, then the two, this I and this I, which is this and that. Now, because these ones must begin every word, it implies that you don't alter their position. They cannot shift to an, any other position. They have to remain only at this position. That is why now here, we, the only thing we need to regroup uh, is from here up to here. Now, when you look at this, you will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 will be the numerator. What about the denominator? The denominator you look for identical items. When you look at i, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is why there is 4 factorial here. When you look at s, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. That is why there is 4 factorial there. Now the total number of ways will be good by multiplying. You will say this 1 factorial times the whole of this to give you 6, 630 ways. Now we shall go to question 3 which says the letters of the word Tuesday are to be arranged in line and each arrangement ending with letter E. Now this word, each arrangement has to end with the letter E. How many arrangements are possible? That is Roman 1. Roman 2. How many arrangements starting with A or D are possible? Let's start with Roman 1. So that the word Tuesday must each arrangement must end with E. So you make a sketch to ease the calculation. So you first pull out the E and pull it at the very end. Then you remain with this T which is here. Then the U which is here. Then the S which is there. The D which is here. The A which is here. And Y which is there. So this one must end, must be at the very end, so we shall have one factorial. So what that means that we only need to rearrange from here up to here. So we shall come and, re and get its number of ways. The number of ways will be 6 factorial because there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 distinct objects. That's why there is 6 factorial there. So the number of arrangements will be 6 factorial times 1 factorial, that which will give you... 720 arrangements. Then from and to the side, how many arrangements starting with A or D are possible? Remember they told us that already that it must end with E. So it start with A and end with E or it starts with D and end with E. So we shall need some illustration. So here, this is when it starts with A and ends with E. This one is fixed and this one is also fixed. So we shall first get their factorials. This is one factorial and also this is one factorial. So the remaining ones are from me up to here. So when we arrange them, we shall come up with five factorial. One, two, three, four, five. Also, it can also start with D. So when it starts with D, the illustration will be in that form. 
so still this is fixed and this is fixed so shall, this one will give you one factorial and also this one will give you one factorial and the remaining ones will give you five factorial therefore the total number of ways will be this this times this times this oh now this all means addition this times this times that which is that so when you use the calculator we shall come up with this as 120 and this as 120 when you add the two you come up with 240 arrangements then question 4 Roman 1 says how many arrangements can be made using the letters of the word trotting so here there are no restrictions so we shall first analyze the word trotting now that word trotting has eight letters with three t's meaning that eight will be the numerator and three will be the denominator when i use the calculator i'll come up with that then roman 2 said in how many of these arrangements are the letters n and e sorry n and g next to each other so there we shall need an illustration so we're going to first extract out n and g and put and group them together when you group them together it implies that now this one is not fixed they didn't tell us that it is fixed they just told us that they are next to each other so meaning that this one can also shift to any other position therefore the number of ways from here up to here it will be one two three four five six seven now seven will be the numerator denominator we shall look for the identical ones there is one two three that is why there is three factorial in the denominator but also these two can be rearranged because they are not identical and the number of ways will be two factorial ways after that illustration you can come and say that the number of arrangements will be this times this which gives you that therefore when you use a calculator it will come up this gives you this and this gives you that therefore you end up with this as the required number of arrangements question 5 says how many arrangements are there in the word makerele if the words must start with R and end with R so they have to start with R and also end with R there, that means that we need some illustration so I think here it starts with R and ends with R meaning that these two R's are fixed so that means that this one when it is fixed it will be one factorial and this one when it is fixed it will be one factorial then these ones in the middle they are the only ones which can be arranged and the number of arrangements will be six factorial over three factorial because it is one two three four five six that is the numerator what about the denominator no matter the identical ones there is one two three that is why there is three factorial there therefore the total number of arrangements will be this times this times this to give you 120 ways question 6 says six girls are to be seated on the, on the bench in how many ways can the girls be seated if the eldest girl is to be seated on the left hand side of the bench so in this case the eldest girl g6 is fixed there are six girls also we have one g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 and g6 but g6 is fixed because they told her that he she has to sit on the left hand side of the bench therefore that means that we shall need a an illustration which is that now this one is fixed and the number of ways will be one factorial these ones can be rearranged so when i rearrange these ones we shall come up with five factorial therefore the number of ways will be five factorial times one factorial which is 120 ways question 7 says three men and five women are seated on a bench in how many ways can they be seated if roman 1 there are no restrictions roman 2 the five women are made to sit together 
So we shall start with the Roman one where there are no restrictions. So without restrictions, we are, we are going to just count the total. Then we have 3 and plus 5, which is 8. Therefore, we have 8 distinct objects. That is why you see here 8 factorial. And when you use the calculator, you come up with this number of ways which they want. That was Roman 1. What about Roman 2? Roman 2, they said five women are made to sit together. That means we need some illustration. So M1 is for the first, M is for the men, and W is for the women. So these are three men and five women. Now the five women are, sit, are, next, are meant to sit together. That is why they are grouped together into one. That means that these ones are taken as one. Therefore, you take one, two, three, four. That is why you see four factorial there. But also, among these women, the re rearrangements can also be made. And those rearrangements will be 5 factorial. Because there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the total number of arrangements will be 4 factorial times 5 factorial, which will be 1, 4, 4 ways. Then now we shall go to question 8, which says, 7 friends sit together with their respective partners. All meet up for a meal. To commemorate the occasion, they arrange for a photograph to be taken of all 14 of them standing in a line. Roman 1. How many different arrangements are there if each friend is standing next to his or her partner? So let's start with Roman 1. Roman 1. That means that we need an, an illustration. So each one is starting next to the partner. So M is for the man, W is for the wife. There are seven though, so we have seven men and seven women. Therefore, these ones are taken as one, taken as one, taken as one, taken as one, taken as one first. Then you arrange them. When you arrange them, it will become seven factorial. But also within these ones, they can be rearranged. And also here, they can be rearranged. Here, they can be rearranged. Here, they can be arranged. Here, and all it will be two, two factorial throughout. Therefore, you come and put two factorial on each pair. So with that, we shall come and say that the total number of arrangements will be all these ones. One... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 factorial 7 times um, multiplied by 7 factorial there. So when I use a calculator, I'll come up with this as the required number of arrangements. So that was Roman 1. Roman 2 says, How many different arrangements are there if the 7 friends all stand together and the partners all stand together? So the friends stand together and the women stand together. Therefore, shall need an illustration for that. So we shall group the men alone and also the wives or women alone. Therefore, these ones are taken as one and these ones so first taken as one. Therefore, you group. When you rearrange them, it will be two factorial. But also, within this you can rearrange them, and also within this you can rearrange them. So each will be 7 factorial. So you shall come and put 7 factorial there, and 7 factorial there. Therefore, the number of ways will be this times this times this, which gives you this. And then you come up with this when you use a calculator. Now we shall, there has been permutation involving restrictions, but now, and now we shall go to permutations involving mutually exclusive events now the ones with restrictions i think you are keen you have been only dealing with when they are seated next to each other or grouped together but now for mutually exclusive involves when they are separated for example we shall come and say that mutual exclusive events are events which cannot happen at the same time for two mutual exclusive events a and b the total number of permutation is given by this formula. Total permutation is equal to number of permutations of A plus number of permutations of B. Therefore, for example, the, pro the number of arrangements when they, when they 
people are seated next to each other plus the, and the number of permutations when they are seated when they are not seated next to each other those two are mutually exclusive because they cannot happen at the same time you cannot be seated next to each other and at the same time seated far away from each other therefore that is what we call mutually exclusive events so with that let's go through some of the questions so question one in how many ways can the letters of the word banana be arranged roman one without restriction roman two if the ends are kept together and roman three if ends are separated so this one can be done this one can do it but now this one involves this knowledge of mutually exclusive events so let's see how we can go through this question So without restriction, the word banana, when you analyze it, it has six letters with three A's and two N's, meaning that six will be the numerator and three will be the denominator, two will also be the denominator. So in the end, we shall come up with 60 ways. That is without restriction. Then Roman 2, they said, what about when ends are kept together? So when they are kept together, we shall need an illustration. So the ends are kept together, meaning that they are not fixed, so they can shift to other positions. Therefore, these are taken as one to come up with this as 5 over 3 factorial, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is the 5 numerator. Then the, root, then the identical ones, 1, 2, 3, which is this. Now, these ones, we don't count them as identical because you have taken them as one. And these ones are, because they are identical, the number of arrangements is on the one factorial. Therefore, the total number of arrangements will be 5 over 3, 5 factorial over 3 factorial multiplied by 1 to come up with 20 ways. That is Roman 2. What about Roman 3? When ends are separated, remember this one, when they are kept together, and this one when they are separated are mutually exclusive. And when you add the two, you will come up with this one without restriction. Therefore, if I want to get this one, when they are separated, I will say this total minus this to come up with this. According to the formula you have seen, therefore, you shall come and say that the number of ways when separated will be 60, which is this, minus 20, which is this, to come up with 40 ways. So that is what mutually exclusive events is all about. But I will go through a number of questions for you to master the concept. So question 2 says... In how many ways can the letters of the word parallelogram be written Roman 1 without restriction Roman 2 if the A's are kept together Roman 3 if the A's are separated and Roman 4 if each word begins and ends with R. So let's start with Roman 1 without restriction. So without restriction we analyze the word parallelogram and realize that it has 13 letters with 3 A's three L's and two R. That means that 13 will be the numerator, then this three will be the denominator, this three will be the denominator, and this two will also be the denominator. So in the end, we shall come up with this number of ways. Now that is Roman 1. What about Roman 2? Roman 2, they said, if A's are kept together. So you are coming and say that when the A's are kept together, we shall need an illustration. So that will be the illustration and therefore these ones they are not fixed, they are just kept together meaning that they can also shift to other positions. Therefore the number of factorial arrangements from here to here, it will be given by that which is 11 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So 11 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's the numerator. Then denominator, the identical ones, there is L1, 2, 3. That's this 3 factorial. Then the other one is R1, 2, which is 2 factorial. Now these ones, they're identical, so the number of arrangements will be 1 factorial. 
therefore the total number of arrangements will be this times this to give you this so when you give it use a calculator you'll come up with this as the required number of ways that is Roman 2 what about Roman 3 when the A's are separated remember now we have to recall mutually exclusive events and the question come and say that the number of ways will be this one without restrictions minus this one we when the A's are kept together and that will give you this as the required number of ways that is Roman 3 what about Roman 4 Roman 4 when each word begins and ends with R we shall need an illustration So that's the illustration. This R is fixed now, so it will be 1 factorial. And also this R is fixed, so it will be 1 factorial. Then from here to here, those are the ones which need to be rearranged. And to be when you arrange, you shall come up with 11 factorial over 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Now 11 because there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then 3 is because there is 1, 2, and 3. Then also another 3 is because there is 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, the total number of ways will be this times this times this to give you that. Then now shall go to question 3 which says, In how many ways can the letters of the word permutation be arranged in a row, Roman 1, without restrictions Roman 2 if the T's are kept together and Roman 3 if the T's are separated and Roman 4 if the vowels are kept together Roman 5 if the vowels are separated and Roman 6 if each word begins and ends with T so let's start with Roman 1 without restriction we shall just analyze the word permutation and realize that it has 11 letters with 2 T's. Therefore, 11 will be the numerator and 2 will be the denominator to give you this as the required number of ways. There was Roman 1. Roman 2 is when the T's are kept together. So you come and say that when the T's are kept together, we shall need an illustration. So these T's are not fixed, they, can, they are just kept together, meaning that we have to rearrange from here up to here. And when you do that, we shall come up with an arrangement of 10 factorial. Then these are two identical items, so the number of ways will be 1 factorial. Therefore, the total number of ways will be 10 factorial times 1 factorial. When you use the calculator, we shall come up with this number of ways. That is Roman 2. Roman 3 is when the T's are separated. We have, rem we have to remember mutual exclusive events. So this is without restriction. This is when there is a res this restriction. And when you subtract the 2, you will come up with this as the required number of ways. What about Roman 4? Roman 4 says when the vowels are kept together. So we are going to rearrange, illustrate, so that you put all the vowels together. So those are the vowels in the word permutation. They are grouped together. They are not constant. Therefore, we have to range from here to here. And when you do that, we shall come up with 7 factorial over 2 factorial. 7 because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 2 is because of these 2 t's. But also, these vowels can also be rearranged. Therefore, when you rearrange them, we shall come up with 5 factorial. Therefore, the total number of ways will be this times this to give you that. That is Roman 4. What about Roman 5? When the vowels are separated, you have to remember mutual exclusive events. Therefore, the total number of ways is this, and when they are kept together is that. So when I subtract the 2, I'll come up with this as the required answer. Then Roman 6 is when each word begins and ends with T. So there I'll need an illustration.
so this t is fixed therefore to be one factorial this t is fixed to be one factorial therefore i only need to rearrange these ones from here up to here and when i do that i'll come up with an arrangement of nine factorial therefore the total number of ways will be good by multiplying this times this times this to give you that Now we shall go to question 4 which says in how many ways can the letters of the word abracadabra be arranged in a row Roman 1 without restriction Roman 2 if the A's are kept together Roman 3 if the A's are separated Roman 4 if each word begins and ends with B and Roman, three, Roman 5 if C and D are always next to each other. So let's start with Roman 1 over without restriction there we need to analyze the word abracadabra so when you analyze this word you realize it has 11 letters with 5 a's 2 b's and 2 r's meaning that 11 will be the numerator then 5 will be the numer denominator 2 will be the denominator and this 2 will be the denominator so when you use the calculator I'll come up with this as a required number of ways so now we shall go to Roman 2 where the A's are kept together. So you come as that when the A's are kept together, we need an illustration. Therefore the arrangement from here up to here, we shall come up with 7 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial. So I believe by now you know where this com is coming from. Then these are all identical, meaning that the number of arrangement will be one factorial. Therefore, the total number of arrangements will be this times this to give you that. The Roman 3 is when the A's are separated. So mutual exclusive events we shall subtract to come up with this. Then Roman 4 is when each word begins and ends with B. So we need an illustration there. So this b is fixed and it will be one factorial. Also this b is fixed, it will be one factorial. Therefore arranging these ones, we shall come up with an arrangement of 9 factorial over 5 factorial to factorial. So when I multiply all of them, I'll come up with this as a required number of ways. Then Roman 5 is when C and D are always next to each other. So there we need an illustration. So we shall group the C and D. Then it means that from here up to here, the number of ways will be... To be 10 factorial over 5 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial, and yet will be 2 factorial because these ones can also be rearranged. That when I apply this with this, I'll come up with this as a required number of ways. Then now we shall go to question 5, which says 4 letters of the word hyperbola are to be arranged in a row. In how many ways of these arrangements are the vowels separate? So that means that we have to first deal with without restriction to give you 9 factor which is this. Then also deal when they are together. So when they are kept together we need an, an illustration. So that means that to arrange from here to here it will give you 7 factorial and this one alone will give you 3 factorial. Therefore, multiply the two, you'll come up with this number of ways. So mutual exclusive events means that when they are separated, the number of ways will be good by subtracting to give you this. So now we shall go to circular permutation. Now for arrangement of an of items in a straight line, the arrangement A B C D E is different from A B C D. However, for circular arrangement, 
the arrangement this is similar to this as you can see it here so if I arrange it in this way and this and this one the arrangement will be similar that is for circular so we have to be keen most times either we have to be keen and find out whether it is a row arrangement or it's a circular arrangement so when it is circular they will always specify and in that case it means that the number of permutations of n distinct objects is given by n minus 1 factorial for a straight line or for a row it was n factorial but in this case when it is circular it will be n minus 1 factorial for example question 1 says four people are to be seated round a circular table not this word circular in how many ways can they be arranged without restriction so there we shall say there are four meaning that number of ways will be four minus one factorial which will be six ways then room part b mr mrs and mr y mr b mr c mr a are to be seated round a circular table in how many ways can this be done if roman one a couple sits next to each other and roman two a couple does not sit next to each other so there we shall need an, an illustration but we have sh what should be realized that here we have the word circular So it means that the, when they are sitting next to each other, we have to group these two to come up with two factorial. And also the whole of it will now be four factorial. Why? Because we have grouped this one into one. So this is one, two, three, four. Now, but because it is such right, it will be four minus one factorial. Therefore, you come and say the number of ways will be two factorial times four minus one factorial to give you twelve ways. That is Roman 1. What about Roman 2? Roman 2, you are going to first deal with that restriction and to be 5 minus 1 factorial, which is 24. Therefore, when the couples are separated, you subtract the 2 to come up with 12 ways. So that has been circular permutation. Now we shall go to what we call the permutation formula. So the number of arrangements, stroke permutation of R objects selected from N different objects is therefore given by the formula N permutation R. So this one NPR is read is pronounced as N permutation R as given by the formula that N factorial over N minus R factorial. So by now I believe you know what this word factorial means, the symbol factorial means. So this is what we call the permutation formula. So previously we have been rearranging words, but this time we pick and arrange a few words, a few objects from a given set of objects. So let's start with this question for you to master the, how this formula works. So question one says, show that n plus one multiplied by n permutation r is equal to n plus one permutation r plus one. So you start from the left hand side, so we're going to write this one which is here, then expand this permutation to give you this n factorial over n minus r factorial. So this and this is the numerator. Now denominator we shall introduce an innocent expression which is plus 1 minus 1. So when we do that we are going to rearrange, this plus 1 will come here to come up we have group with this to come up with n plus one then this mi minus r and minus one will be grouped together to come up with minus in brackets r plus one therefore that means when you compare with this formula you realize that now that this one will be here and this is here therefore we have proved what they wanted So now we shall go to question two. Question two says, in how many ways can you arrange three different letters chosen from six unlike letters of the word bridge? Like I told you, the permutation formula is used when you're selecting some, some objects from a given set of objects. Now here, 
this word bridge has one two three four five six has six objects but they want you to arrange three objects from this therefore we shall come and see that as long as you see the word arrange as now it is permutation so you come and see the number of words will be six permutation three because six is the total then three is the objects we are picking you are you are going to arrange so of the six you only need three of the six you only need three now the this one like we said this will be six factorial over six minus three factorial to give you this but the good thing is that also the calculator you can easily move from here up to here how for example if you have fx991 and i want to get six permutation three I'm going to first type this 6 here, which is here. Then this permutation, if you look at this button of multiplication, above it there is NPR. Now that NPR is the is our permutation symbol, but to get it you have to first press shift. So after pressing 6, you will come and press shift. After pressing shift, come and press this button of multiplication. You will see a P coming. Then next is to press this 3 here. After that, you are going to press an equal sign. So when you do that, when you press an equal sign, you will see 120 on your calculator. So that means that you can easily bypass this expansion of this factorial and just move from here up to here. And that's what I recommend you to always be using. So now we shall go to question 3, which says that find the number of permutations of four letters that can be made from letters of the word pathogens so pathogens has one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine out of nine we need four so it will be nine permutation four and nine permutation four using a calculator to give you this and that's what they wanted as simple as that and now we shall go to question three. Question four says an exacta in horse racing is when you correct you correctly guess which horses will finish first and second. If there are eight horses in the race, how many different possible outcomes for the exacta are there? Now out of the eight you need two. Therefore, it will be 8 permutation 2, and the calculator to be 56 outcomes. Then, question 5 In how many ways can the first, second, and third positions be awarded or to 15 authorities? So, out of 15, you need 3. Therefore, the number of ways will be 15 permutation 3. And this gives you this as the required number of ways. As simple as that so that is how the permutation formula works but let's go through number of questions that you can easily grasp the concept so question 6 says a club of nine people wants to pick a board of three members president vice president and secretary in that order in how many ways are there sorry how many ways are there to choose the board from nine people? So out of nine, you need three. Therefore, the number of ways will be nine permutation three, which gives you this. Then question seven says, in his cow house, a farmer has seven stalls of cows and four stalls of calves. If he has ten cows and, fifth and five calves, in how many ways can he arrange the animals in the cow house so this means that out of 10 you need 7 and out of 5 you need 4 that is why you see here uh, 10 permutation 7 and here 5 permutation 4 and when you use a calculator this will give you this and this will give you this so in the end you will come up with this number of ways now we shall go to permutations involving digits. So question one says, how many two-digit numbers can be formed from digits one up to eight? Now one up to eight, there are eight digits and you need two. Therefore, the number of ways will be 
8 permutation 2 which gives you 56 ways. Then question 2 says how many 3 digit numbers can be formed with the digits 1, 4, 7, 8 and 9 if the digits are not repeated. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So out of 5 digits you need 3. Therefore the number of ways will be 5 permutation 3 which gives you 6 ways. Then question 3, how many multiples of 5 are there from 10 to 15? So multiples of 5, multiples of 5 have integers 5, 0 and 5 digit at the extreme right. And also the first digit can be either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because they are moving from 10 to 9, so 1 up to 9. Sorry, 10 to 95. Therefore, that means that for the first digit, you can pick from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So out of 9, you need 1 to take the first digit. And for the second digit, you there are two ways. So out of 2, you need 1. Therefore, it will be 9 permutation 2. So 9 time permutation 1 times 2 permutation one so this is the first, first digit second digit now this one gives you nine and this one gives you two to come up with 18 multiples then question four how many five figure odd numbers can be made from digits one two three four five if no digit is repeated now they said five figure odd numbers there we shall need an illustration so these are the numbers we need we have now for odd numbers the last value can either be one or three or five therefore there are three ways to pick the very last num value so you come here and put our positions we have first second third and fourth fourth and fifth and the fifth num the fifth this one the number of ways of picking it will be 3 permutation 1 because out of these 3 you need 1 therefore it will be 3 permutation 1 then these ones you can pick any so it will be uh, when you pick 1 you remain with 1, 2, 3, 4 so you have 4 objects to pick to put to fill these 4 spaces therefore it will be 4 permutation 4 And when I multiply the two, I'll come up with the required number of ways as 72. Then question 5 says, how many even numbers greater than 2000 can be formed with digits 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 8, if each digit may be used only once in each number? So there shall need also an illustration. So we have these are the numbers here. But they said they are even and they are greater than 2000. If they are greater than 2000, it means that the first digit can either be 2 or 4 or 8. And those are three ways. What about the last digit? For them to be even, the last digit can be 2 or 4 or 8. Now, they are, now why are we saying two ways? Because when you pick the first value, of these three, when you pick one, you'll be left with only two. That is why you see here two ways. Therefore, we shall come and put our illustration of the positions. And we shall see that the first position here, you have three ways to pick from. So it will be three permutation one. Then the last one, there are two ways to pick from. So it will be two permutation one. Then you, when you pick two, you are left with two digits to fill the two spaces so it will be 2 permutation 2 so when I'm apply all of them I'll come up with the required number of ways as 12 of ways now shall go to question 6 which says how many odd numbers greater than 500,000 can be made from the digits 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 without repetition so yeah what you need to note is that the first digit can be five or six or seven because they said greater than five hundred thousand so 
you can't be four because the 400,000 is smaller this is smaller this is smaller so the first digit can be chosen from only those three and case one so sh that there are cases so case one is when the first digit is an odd number so when it is odd it means it can be picked from either five or seven that for our illustration we shall first list the numbers then we say the first digit will take on five or seven and those are two ways what about the last digit because they said it should be odd the last digit must also be odd so it can be three five or seven now why are we saying two ways because when you when you first pick this first one when you take one here it will be left with two alone therefore you have put our positions the first one you have two ways to pick from to get the first one so it will be two permutation one and also the last one there are two ways so it will be two permutation one and these ones when you pick two it will be left one two three four so there are four digits to fill the four spaces so it will be four permutation four and when I apply all of them I'll, so that is the first case what about the second case second case is when the first digit is even and that is six therefore you come and also illustrate so the first digit is only six what about the last digit the last digit can be three or four sorry three or five or seven and those are three ways therefore put our positions there so the first digit there is only one way so it will be one permutation one but the last one there are three ways so it will be three permutation one then when you pick two there will be left four digits to fill the four spaces so it will be four permutation four therefore when I apply total number it can either be this this times this times this or this times this times this now the word all means addition so for this first digit is odd we have this times this times this which is this then here first digit is even we have this times this times this which is this and when I use a calculator I'll come up with this as a required number of ways Then question 7 came from your neighbor 1994 paper 1 question 15 a and says four and five digit numbers greater than 6000 are obtained by arranging the digits 3 5 4 6 7 how many of these are odd numbers and two even numbers so let's start with roman 1 where they want odd numbers so there's no, something to notice that for even for four digit number the first digit can either be 6 or 7 because they said it should be greater than 6000 but for the five digit number it is unrestricted because five digit number is already this is already this is only a four digit number therefore five digit number will be automatically greater than the four digit number so case one is when the first digit is 6 because they said it can be 6 or 7 so when it is 6 the first digit is 6 we shall come up with this illustration that is the first digit and uh, what about the last digit can be three five or seven because they want it to be they want it to be odd in roman one therefore we shall come and make a registration the first the first position is there's only one way so it will be one permutation one last digit there are three ways so it will be three permutation one and this one these two when you remove two there are three options so three ways to pick so it will be three permutation two that is the first case what about the second case is when it is starts it starts with seven so when the first digit is seven the illustration will be that the first here we shall put here seven and it is one way then the last digit two can be three five and there are two ways therefore our positions will be those ones the first one will be one way so it will be one permutation one the last one will be two ways so it will be two permutation one and these other two they have three options three ways so it will be three permutation two 
so when I'm that is the case two now case three is for the five digit number five digit number we're only interested in the last value so the last position must be odd so it can be three or four or five or three or five or six sorry three or five or seven and those are three ways there are four when you come to our positions there should be five positions and this last one we have three ways so it will be three permutation one then these other ones there are four positions to fill and there are three digits so to be so there are three digits and there are four digits and four positions to be filled there are four to be four permutation four therefore we are now shall get the total number of arrangements this is when the first digit is six and when the first digit is six we shall come up with this this times this times this then when the first digit is seven we shall come up with this times this times this and when the it's a five digit number to be this times that therefore we shall come and fill in the space then use the calculator and come up with the final answer as this that is for roman one roman two they wanted even So Roman two still shall go to the first case. First case when this digit starts with six. That will be the first position. Then the last position can be four or can be only four. Therefore, we shall come and put our positions. The first one to be one permutation one, and the last one also be one permutation one. And these ones will be three permutation two. I think by now you already know where it comes from. That is case one. What about case two? Case two is when the first digit is seven. So when the first digit is seven, it means that this is there is only one way for the first position, but for the last position there is four, there is six. Those are two ways. Therefore, to fill our spaces, the first one will be one permutation one, and the last one will be two permutation one. Then this two, it will be three permutation two. That is case two. What about case three for the five digit number? Five digit number, we are only interested in the last position. So last position, there are two ways. So we shall come and fill the spaces. And it will be two permutation one. And these ones will now be four permutation four. Therefore, the total number of arrangements will be when the first digit is 6, which is this times this times this. First digit is 7, which is this times this times this. And five digit number, which is this times that. So when I fill in, I'll come up with that. Then use the calculator, you'll be able to come up with this number of arrangements, which they want. So that has been permutation of digits. Now we shall go to combinations or selections so a combination or a selection of a given number of articles is defined as a set or group of articles selected from those given where the order of the group is not taken into account I believe by now you already know this in choosing from a number of items only the context of the group selected is important and not the order in which the group is selected. Note that under permutation AB is different from BA, but in combinations AB is, the, is similar to BA. And the number of combinations of n different combinations taken R at a time is given by this. So here you put different objects. So it is given by NCR. Now this C means combination. So it will be N is pronounced as N combination R. As given by the formula N factorial over N minus R factorial multiplied by R factorial. So let's go through some of the questions from your name. So question one came from your name. 2004 paper one question 9A and says find n if n permutation 4 is equal to 30 times n combination 5 so the good thing we know the formula for permutation and for combination so for permutation is this and for combination t is that 
but they started here that's why you see a 30 there now this n factorial can cancel with this to remain with 1 here and 30 there then also this one can be can become n minus 4 times n minus 5 factorial the reason is because I want to make it somehow similar to this side so in this case they are similar therefore I can cancel them out to remain with 1 over n minus 4 here to remain now here 30 divided by 5 factorial gives you a quarter cross multiply you come up with that and make n the subject and it will be equal to 8 and that's what they wanted then question 2 came from your name 1995 paper 1 question 15 Roman 1 and Roman 2 so Roman 1 says evaluate this 8 a combination 5 divided by 8 a co sorry 8 a permutation 5 divided by 8 a combination 6 so let's start with Roman 1 so yeah there is a division sign missing so division now this one gives you this and this gives you that so when I change this division sign into multiplication sign, I'll get the reciprocal of this to come up with this. Now this 75 is the same as 75, factor 75 times 74 factorial. And this 8 has cancelled. That's why you see a 1 and 1. Then from there, this factorial and this factorial will cancel. Remain with 1 over 75 here, then 6 factorial over 1 there. Now 6 factorial the same as can be expanded to this over this to give you 48 over 5. Then when you go to when you go to Roman 2, Roman 2 said solve for n in n combination 4 equal to n combination 2. So this is what we are given, so we shall expand this to give you this and this to give you that. Now this n factorial can cancel for both to remain with 1, 1. Then here I'll, I'll, I'll reduce this one. So this will be n minus 2, n minus 3, n minus 4. When it comes to this, I'll stop there. Then here there is this 4 factorial, so it is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Now with that it means that I can cancel this with this then I also cancel this with this so this side I remain with 1 over 4 times 3 then here I remain with 1 over n minus 2 n minus 3 so cross multiply I come up with this now most students make a mistake here when they reach there they will say n minus 2 is equal to 12 or n minus 3 is equal to 12 that is not okay you have to expand and get a quadratic then I have to factorize that quadratic so the sum is negative 5 product is negative 6 factors will be 1 and negative 6 therefore factorizing it will give you n plus 1 n minus 6 to equal to 0 therefore n is either equal to negative 1 or positive 6 but n cannot be equal to negative 1 therefore n is equal to 6 and that's what they wanted now we shall go to question 3 which came from UNEB 2011 paper 1 question 4 and says a committee of three of four men and three women is to be formed from 10 men and eight women in how many ways can the committee be formed now this one some students may conf may wonder is it permutation or combination what you need to remember is that for permutation the word arrangement has to be seen now here they only said number of ways and they didn't talk about arranging therefore this is under combination now of from the 10 we need 4 and from 8 we need 3 therefore the number of ways will be 10 combination 4 times 8 combination 3 this gives you this Okay, I didn't show you how to use a calculator to get that combination. So let's first learn how to use a calculator. So if you have your FX 991, the combination symbol, if you look at this division button, above it there is NCR, meaning that's the button of interest. So you're going to, if I want 10 combination 4, I'll come and first press 10. 
then I'll go to and press shift then I press this division button when you press it you will see a C coming then I want to press 4 so I'll come and press 4 when that is done I'll come and press equal to when I press equal to I'll be able to get this value of 210 do the same for this you'll be able to get this value of 56 now from there you can multiply the 2 and when I multiply the 2 I'll be able to come up with this which is required as brief as that and you get your 5 marks now some students may be wondering where will the teacher get the 5 marks from the 5 marks will come you just do what is necessary so now we shall go to question 4 question 4 came from your neighbor 2006 paper 1 question 6 and says a group of 9 has to be selected from 10 boys and 8 girls it consists of either 5 boys or 4 girls sorry either five boys and four girls or four boys and five girls how many different groups can be chosen so you have two options there is it can be five boys four girls or four boys five girls now we have remember the total we have ten boys so of ten you need five and of eight you need four therefore it will be ten combination five and eight multiply by 8 combination 4 then here of 10 you need 4 and of 8 you need 5 therefore it will be 10 combination 4 8 combination 5 so when you use the calculator this gives you this this gives you that this gives you this this gives you that simplify further you'll come up with this which is the required number of groups question 5 came from your neighbor 2004 paper 1 question 9c and says find the number of ways in which a senior 6 mathematics student can choose one or more of the four girls in the mathematics class to join the discussion group they said one or more of the four girls so the number of ways can will can be you can choose one girl or you choose two girls or you choose three girls or you choose four girls if I choose one girl to be one combination four combination one if I choose two girls it will be four combination two here to be four combination three here to be four combination four the runner is a calculator this is this this is this this is this this is this add all of them will come up with 15 ways question 6 came from your name 1995 paper 1 question 15 Roman 3 and it says a committee of five students is to com a committee of five students to comprise the, sc the school council is to be selected from eight male students and five female students. Find how many possible committees can be obtained. So here you can choose all of them can be female. The five you can be female, or one male and four female, or Two male and three female or three male two female or four male one female or all of them can be male therefore this one it will be eight combination zero here to be five combination five here to be eight combination one five combination one four here to be eight combination two five combination three here to be eight combination three five combination two here to be four sorry eight combination four 5 combination 1 and here to be 5 sorry 8 combination 5 and 5 combination 0 so when I use the calculator I'll come up with this for this bracket to be this this is that this is that this is this this is this and this is that simplify further you'll be able to come up with this as a required number of committees Then now shall go to question 7 which came from your name 1994 paper 1 question 15b and says 9 out of 12 members of the school's geography club are to be taken out on a study tour given that they given that there are seven there are seven boys and five girls and at least three girls have to go for the tour roman 1 find the number of ways in which the selection of students can be done
So the number of boys can be three girls, six boys, or four girls, five boys, or five girls, four boys. Therefore, this will give you this. I believe we know where it comes from, and this will give you this, and this will give you that. Use the calculator, you'll be able to come up with this as a required number of ways. Then, Roman 2 if there are two sisters in a club who are definitely selected to go, in how many ways can the remaining students be selected? So, two girls have to go. So number of ways it means that you can select now one girl and six boys, then or oh, two girls, three boys, five boys, or oh, three girls, four boys. Because two have to go, therefore out of the nine, you have already got the two, so you need only seven. And we're using one because to get the, four, the three girls, you already have two, so to get the three girls, you have to get one girl or more. Therefore, when I substitute, it will be this. Now, here, I think we realize that now three because there were five girls, but now two must go. So, they have been removed and are left with only three girls. When you use a calculator, it will come up with this as the required number of ways. Now, we shall go to question 8, which came from your name, 1990, paper 1, question 15c, and says... A committee consists of two men and three women. A committee consisting of two men and three women is to be formed from a group of five men and seven women. Roman 1. Find the number of different committees that can be formed. So number of different committees can be this because they said the committee must consist of two men and three women so of the five men you need two that's five combination two then of the seven women you need three that is seven combination three so in the end you come up with 350 committees then roman two they said if two of the women refuse to serve on the same committee how many committees can be formed So the number of committees will be this because one ca two, two women cannot serve on the same committee, meaning that you'll be left now with six. So if I remove one woman here, I'll be left with six. That's why you see here six combination three. Or you choose also the other group where there is the other wo second woman that is also six combination three. That's why there is here two times this because there are two ways. Then of the men, out of five, you need two. That is why there is five combination two there. So in the end, you come up with 500 committees. Sorry, 400 committees. Then question nine, there are three boys and four girls attending, uh, attending the party. In how many ways can three of them be selected so as to include exactly two boys? Exactly two boys, it means that you will select two boys and one girl. That gives you three combination two multiplied by four combination one to give you 12 ways. Then Roman two, at least one boy. So at least one boy, the number of boys will be one boy, two girls, or two boys, one girl, or three boys, zero girl. So this will give you this, this will give you that, and this will give you this. And when I use a calculator, I'll come up with this as a required number of ways. Then question 10 says, from a group of 6 boys and 10 girls of the science club, 5 members are to be selected to represent the club of a science in a science workshop. In how many ways can the selection be done if, Roman 1, there must be exactly 2 girls in the science workshop? So their number of ways will be two girls, three boys to give you four combination two times six combination three to give you one twenty ways. The Roman two, 
if one boy and one girl must be in the science workshop. That means that you can take one one girl, four boys, or two girls, three boys, or three girls, two boys, uh, or four girls, one boy. Therefore, this will be this, this will be this, this will be this, and this will be that. Now, using a calculator, we shall come up with that. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded the next video will be on Binomial and Macrorins Theorem Stroke Expansion. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded. And also, if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.